It is, Dia. Let me tell you a little bit about this event. You're going to see lots of this this morning in Pinellas County. Lots of pink. That's because the Susan G. Komen three-day for the Cure event kicks off really soon. 1,600 walkers are going to flood into Pinellas County, and they're walking to raise money for breast cancer research. Opening ceremonies, they start about 730 right back here in the staging area. All those walkers and all the volunteers will hear survivor stories to get pumped up for that 20-mile walk today. We're going to be checking in with you live all morning as the walkers and volunteers start arriving. But right now, I want you to meet Wendy Cleek. These kinds of fundraisers, they're important to her. See, Wendy needed a mammogram. She couldn't pay for it. I want to show you how she found free help. These little calcifications oh. sprinkled throughout the breast. These digital mammography images alerted doctors something could be wrong with 43-year-old Wendy Cleek. These calcs that are a little bit suspicious. I was scared to death. It got worse when doctors told Wendy she needed a biopsy, but her health wasn't her only worry. I can't afford it. A single mom, Wendy cleans houses for a living and does not have health insurance, but she found the help she needed for free. I think women as a whole aren't aware that there's programs that do give mammograms free of cost. <laughs> The local affiliate of Susan G. Komen raises money in part from benefit runs. Some of that money is funneled into programs where women can get free mammograms, even breast cancer treatment that could run up to $100,000. Wendy took advantage of one of the programs through the Moffitt Cancer Center. I just thought, wow, I'm, getting, I'm finally getting some help. It's a simple application process. Only low-income women with little or no insurance are considered. This year, 4,000 local women are expected to get the free mammograms. Turns out for Wendy, her lump was benign. Relieved and that more women in my predicament should know about it. And Wendy tells me she's going back in six months for another mammogram as a check-in. She will get that for free as well. Please visit our website, abcactionnews.com. I've posted a helpful article to see if you qualify for this free mammogram. And again, fundraisers like this help make these free programs happen. A bunch of volunteers just started arriving over here. This is the, uh, the check-in area where, again, 1,600 people will be arriving later this morning to help raise millions over the weekend for breast cancer research. Reporting live in Clearwater, Ashley Glass, ABC Action News.